Good evening. It's Friday evening, the 26th of July. July, July, yes. And I'm translating from Polish to English, so sometimes <laughs> it's just tricky. And it's half, uh, really half past nine, so video will be posted in the morning. I'm just recording in the evening. First thing I would like to announce to you, if you would like to participate in half an hour reading with me, donated by Janet and Tom Burks, thank you Janet and Tom, please write your comments under the video. And Monday when I will be with Cheryl on live stream at 11 Mountain Time, we will find that the, who, won, who is the winner. Okay, in this video I will be talking about Will Trump debate with Kamala Harris? First he wants to, now he doesn't. And how that will go? What was the conversation between Bibi Yahoo and Trump in Mar-a-Lago? How was Bibi feel, felt after meeting with Kamala Harris? Will Vance be replaced by SVP? Who is going to win Trump or Harrison or Harris? That Biden was holding his announcement until the RNC, uh, and, uh, you know, conference. So I will start right away. And the questions are mostly from other people, not not from me. And actually in the morning I got information from Brooke. She sent me, Brooke is the, the young lady who is writing comments, uh, not comments, timestamps for, for, for the videos. And she's doing this as a volunteer, so be, please be appreciative what that what she is doing. And okay, thank you so much, Brooke. And she reminded me that I saw problems of security dur during the Olympic time in Paris. So today there was arson attack and security threats to Paris uh, railways. Good that no one was hurt. And the communication was hard for 800,000 people. And it's very hard to move around Paris. You need to have to use metro or other different ways of public communications because to find the parking, believe me, it's a challenge and you are leaving your car on the neutral so someone can push it <laughs> and you think oh I park over there and the car by the morning is on another a little bit further so that that's the game and so there will be some other problems and we have to pray for, for, for the security and safety Russians are not happy and ISIS is not happy with you know, and Belarus is not happy because they are not allowed to be to participate in the Olympics. And will um, Trump debate Kamala Harris? It was questions for Dave Pac uh, Pacman. He has a YouTube channel. He is very famous, and that was his question. And I thought, why not? I want to answer that one. And she will be forcing him. It's like pulling him. You have to debate with me. He will try to run away as far as he can. And she will be the, the one uh, that would be... She will know how to deal with him. And the experience of Hillary Clinton will be playing a big role. And believe me... She will know how to deal with a bully. She learned early age to stand up for herself. Her parents divorced, so her mother couldn't go after her and help her. I learned that too. 
and it's good. You know, you have to to fight with the boys, and she already gave Trump nickname Old Don. That's for the beginning. I think there will be more names. He will be calling her right now, laughing. Kamala, Kamala, and uh, because he can't, he don't know how to laugh. Honestly, he don't know how to laugh. He can laugh at others, but not laugh to, from happiness. So that's the problem for him. Will he debate? And I know that she will be pulling him, but I'm using always three cards to know more. The judgment. Yes, his people will demand him as well to be. He will be debating and he will be protecting himself. He will be inoffensive. So, and he will speak up his mind, of course, because he wouldn't be Trump. Will Trump, uh, how it will be when Trump will be debating with Harris? Excuse me. And she will be like a judge. Uh, that a question I had on a private reading, how that debate will go. And I was trying to explain what I meant. So lawyers have a collar, like they call this lawyer's collar band. And Kamala is, Kamala is a lawyer. That's her profession. So she will be very logical, very straightforward, and the questions will be not that he will be able to wiggle. And uh, she will call him old on it. I wonder. So this is the kind of color that the lawyers wear, you know. Judge uh, Ruth Gilbert was wearing her own version round one but the uh, most of the judges are wearing and Kamala loves to wear outfits like a male she don't like to pretend to be a female she likes to have that grip that strength that the manly uniform is giving to her so she's always wearing suits as you notice probably so I will pull three cards to know more about that debate. Sharing. Oh, so they will be equally giving each other. Very respectful, very much with love. And then he will feel crying baby. Oh, poor Donny. Poor old Donny. So... I'm pulling always card and I believe that the card will be truthful to me. Today I I have a, I was working in our antique store. My husband left and I was by myself. Second time nasty guy guy came in. He was over a week ago, but my husband was Having the feeling, and he, because my husband was leaving when this guy was coming from the outside, so my husband came after him and he helped me to get rid of that guy. But that time he was staring at me, and I was staring at him, and I was telling him subconsciously without saying a word, get lost, get lost in my mind. And my husband came in and he asked him to leave. Today the same guy came in. He is homeless, tattoos, smell like marijuana, and he wants a reading. He said, well, you said that you can't afford that. Do you have the money? No, but you will do it for me. He said, no, you don't force me to do it. I don't want to be pushed over. And he is saying, prove me that you can do, that you are a psychic. He said, how would you like me to prove you? I pulled the cards for me. I pulled first card and it came King of Swords. And I said, 
on this picture you have a lawyer a policeman symbol of king of swords you will have a problem with law and and with police i already have it you are good i will go <laughs> but it was chess kind of i trust that the cards will help me and the cards help me so you know and the second card was that i told him you better find a job and stay on the right side of the law and don't go that direction because you are going to nowhere yeah i do believe in the magic of the cards but today it was really nice i thought i will share with you because it's You never know who will come to the store and how they will behave. Today, yes. how was Baby Yahoo feeling after meeting with Kamala? It was yesterday. He felt like the door was slammed in his face. And he was left outside with the slam on the nose and started crying. He didn't know that she would be that straightforward with him and telling him what she feels is right in the politics. She knows that he is ex extremely unpopular. 70% of people don't like him in Israel. So... She was right about that, and she told him that, you know, killing innocent people wouldn't, it's not a good thing, and she told him that. So how he felt, I said he felt like crying because he didn't expect that this to happen. Yeah, he felt that he has to make some decisions because... The world is watching. He probably was, and that she is very confident, very secure lady. So he was upset. And uh, the next thing, he right away ran to his friend slash friend slash enemy Donald, old oh, Donald. And what was the conversation be between Donald and Bibi? Trump officially is not a president, so uh, not officially. Trump is not president, so officially he shouldn't do any conversation like promising other countries anything. But we know Trump is Trump. And Bibi was showing in my vision, was bending over and apologizing him because. Uh, Bibi was upset, uh, Don, that he was the one who called in January 20 and gratulated Biden. Trump was furious. So, and then uh, Trump paid him back when in November 7 there was problem in Israel. So, you know, they are even with each other. They are not friends, friends. They are friends with benefits, but not otherwise. So, and Bibi was just playing a servant. He wanted to make future for himself with Trump if he is the, the winner in his mind. Three cards. Yeah, I love you. Oh, gosh. We know all the dirty laundry between us. Everything is kind of dark. Yeah, they, they are lovers. They were telling each other how much they will be partners, friends on the same page in the future. So 
we know that kind of laugh. It's not really laugh. It's just like buying a bride for for the uh, <laughs> from the catalog. So now he was not. Uh, it was not productive for him both ways. Maybe with Trump, but then he don't, he he don't know where he is standing. He knows. Trump can put him right away to the mat if he will feel like it. And Cheryl, our Cheryl, will then be replaced as vice president. And I saw them fighting, like struggling, like the the wrestlers, you know, fighting and fighting. So they will be. There will be some a lot of trouble between them. Uh, at the beginning, I, right away when I heard that he is the nominee, I look at him and Trump, and I knew Trump's body language was very unpleasant. He was falling asleep when Vance was speaking, so he he is not into him. He was Trump was forced to take him, probably. Melon in the mask was, you know, who, who I'm talking about, you know, the guy from Tesla. And uh, that was the reason he took that guy at the events. And he's not happy. He don't like him. And wait a little bit longer and that will be in public. I don't think he will be nice to him, but he can't replace him. Officially, he can't. He will have to go to the Congress to impeach him. Wait for that. If he will try to impeach him, Vance will be opening the Pandora box. And we will know so much more. And even about memory of Trump and everything. So... <laughs> Vance is getting inside informations now as nominee. So security is telling him this boo-boo over here was not from the shot. Uh, well, it's so hard to, to know, but they tried to make up the story that it was bullet, but apparently it wasn't. And it was not even any Oh, Trump said that it's regrew because he is how this Cheryl said. She said something that Cheryl wrote. Uh, uh, she wrote after sending me a picture of Trump's ear. He said his ear is okay. It is a miracle. The chosen one has regained his ear. For entertainment only, I wrote to her. My question, can we encourage Trump to cut some part of his body to replace them with the bigger ones? Maybe they grow, will grow like a mushrooms. Between me and you. <laughs> It's entertainment, it's not for the kids. <laughs> and I'm seeing the, that Trump, going back to the previous question, would he be able to replace? Lo uh, legally, he will have to go to the Congress, and it will be not, <coughs> not a good idea, but they will be struggling. They will be wrestling all the time. But what the cards will say. Closing one paragraph and starting another one. Uh, death card. Trump will be himself. He will be bossy and Vance will have nothing to say. Vance will have to all the time show him his admiration and deep inside he will have only hate. He wanted that. You know, uh, Pence was completely different cookie. He didn't have a baggage saying anything wrong about Trump, and he was really in love that, with that guy. 
he wanted to be him he but then at the end he couldn't do anything wrong because he was not that way growing up to be disrespectful for the law so he didn't do but that was his charm that trump chose him to be who he was the card fell down so it would be very bad thing for fall Vents. My sister-in-law, my husband's sister from Poland, Halina Ruzańska, asked me, who is going to win, Trump or Harris? And other people were asking me as well. But uh, so I saw two knights fighting with the swords, like old-fashioned way fighting. The game is, uh, the, the battle fight is equal. Both of them are very skilled, uh, good fighters. And I can't say that the Trump is bad fighter. He is a fighter. Not that I like him, but he is a fighter. <coughs> but eventually I saw, I asked how this ending, how this game is ending. Uh, will Trump win or not? Or uh, Kamala, Kamala will win. So I saw Trump standing behind the chair and holding the chair from the uh, outside. So standing behind the chair, the chair is empty, and he is standing. I saw a White House empty. No one is there. And he is standing outside the out, uh, White House with the chair. Eventually, I saw Kamala moving with her staff. And she had a lot of stuff and a lot of baggages, a lot of people moving with her. So I believe she will be the, the one who will move eventually inside. But they will be trying to, to make some pause on it, to go to the court and so on. So it might be some delays because I saw empty White House. How this will go. A lot of plans, goals, a lot of movement. Closing one paragraph and starting another one. So that will be a drama and legal battle. That's the card that I was showing to this uh, homeless guy, the king of swords. So that the lawyers, everything, everything all together will be taking place. It's not going to be, and I before I said it will be a tornado. So we have to be ready for battles and tornadoes, but legally it should be moving in. And question from Cheryl, I have to take a drink. I was doing tests yesterday for asthma. Oh gosh, horrible thing. So I'm still thirsty to, till today. Cheryl asked, <coughs> did Biden hold the of announcing until after RNC convention that he was not running and was supporting Kamala as the candidate? At the beginning, after the debate, he still thought that he would be running. He didn't want to give up. His family was forcing him to stay and he didn't want to disappoint his family. So he was still feeling that he can win the, you know, outrain this, how they say those words, with time everything will go and he was doing what they asked him to do to have meetings with people to talk and then COVID came in it was like too much for him and uh, his wife was sick he started to understand what was going on he had more time to watch TV and he understood by that time that 
it will be better for him. And coincidentally, it was a conference uh, in uh, um, RNC, uh, RNC and uh, he announced that after the conference. But before that, even Obama came to ask him for, for to resignate. Not completely resignate, but uh, stop uh, running for next presidency. So it was very painful for, for Biden. And eventually he thought he's all alone because so many people that he loved were against him. So three cards. And please don't be upset with me because I'm just answering questions. This card is coming all the time. We are closing that paragraph of his life. And now he feels like they are partners more than ever with Kamla. He led her to, to, to be very important person speaking with Bibi yesterday. So she is growing to the rank of vice president, but you to have that wings to, to be there and she is glowing she feels so happy in that new role that you can't even imagine how and yes he is going for the quiet the symbol of going for quiet a time in his life so he is more content now about what's happened and uh, that she is that that decision was taken by others, not by him. He didn't want to give up, but eventually he knew there is no point to, to, to force himself to go with the battle. And if he will lose, that the responsibility will be horrific. Okay, Granny's advices. Ros uh, tea of uh, rosemary and thyme are really great for bringing up the memory, you know, your memory abilities. So take that if you like it as well. Tincture, you can make your own tincture of rosemary. One cup of fresh rosemary leaves or half cup of dry ones put in the cup of very good alcohol, 95% or 93% of alcohol. Cover this uh, rosemary, ros, rosemary. Just the leaves, the, just the, it's not like leaves, the, the needles. And keep that for three weeks in dark place. Then, uh, and it has to be in a small container so you don't lose the, too much of the because uh, alcohol in that consistency can evaporate the pasta and after a while put this in the small containers with the um, drops so take about three to five drops two three times a day and Apparently, it's magic. So, for for memories. Okay. Celine Dion was beautiful surprise today in Paris, in front of the Eiffel Tower. And I can imagine how it was because I've been there. And uh, it's... She looks great again, and she looks healthy, and she was singing for one hour. She was complaining about her voice, that it was affected by that illness, and we have to send her prayers that she will be able to survive and be the best as she can be. She always was, and that she is who she is, and we want her to be healthy. We want to pray for, for security in Olympic in Paris and everywhere, but that people will be safe playing games who are for peace, not for, for the war. 
so we want to send them good energy and in Canada in Alberta we have extreme fire well we have a lot of fires but one is very dear to me because it's in Jasper my son Leszek used to live there for a few years and we were visiting him very uh, quite often so we met some people who were living there as well his bosses and so on and 25,000 people were removed because of the, 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 the fires and it's only one way like you can go this way or that way and there is not like other cities that towns because it's a town that you can go different direction there is just one highway going and the fires are so big and so extreme so we want to send the, the energy protective energy calming down and we need the rain eventually to come to Alberta to calm down those fires so far we have dry very dry summer and I want to send prayers for and good energy to anyone who needs that see you next uh, see you Monday because I know my time might be stopped my machine might be stopped by itself all the best to everyone who is who needs any support mental health uh, protection from any disaster or uncomfort I love you guys. See you Monday.